A few months ago, somebody posted a comment asking me to make a video about how it feels like to play bass guitar and sing lead at the same time. I thought it was a very good idea, but maybe a little too personal to make a useful video about it, because it would be only my opinion. So I put together a few points of view and a few tips from some of the leading figures that can actually master this rare skill, to try to give you a better understanding of it. First of all, is it really so hard to play bass and sing at the same time? Of course it depends on what you're singing and what you're playing, but generally speaking, yes, it's hard. And in my opinion, it's not something you can really understand unless you're a bass player who sings. The bottom line is that compared to the guitar playing, bass lines tend to consist of rhythms that are very different from that of the vocal line, while the guitar is often strummed in a way that sort of aligns with the vocals rhythmically. Bass lines are usually both harmonically and rhythmically distinct from the vocal melody. Weaving them together to sing them and play them at the same time would be like playing two lines at once on guitar or bass. My Kerr of Royal Blood said that playing bass and singing at the same time is a big job. Quote, I always prioritize each thing separately and then I work at how to do them together. My style is based around open riffing. You can get some big sounding riffs by playing high up on the fretboard and using open strings. I think you just got to do it really slowly and practice. All of it is hard at first, but after a couple of shows it feels easier and easier." Unquote. According to many, it's rather similar to a piano player trying to develop left hand independence, doing two different things concurrently and fitting them together, and some people look at it like it's an innate talent. But Sting, for example, admits that for him the skill didn't come completely naturally. He honed his ability over grueling hours of practice. Quote, I could slow the playing down, slow the singing down. I saw where the gaps were and like a jigsaw puzzle fitted it together. So now it's become second nature to me to play bass and sing. Other musicians will come and say, how do you do it? Well, it's just practice. It's certainly not a natural thing to do. A lot of people can strum a guitar and sing at the same time in rhythm, but the bass is often contrapuntual, literally, so it's a little bit like juggling two objects in different hands." Unquote. Of course Sting was able to sing perfectly on top of a fretless bass played without even looking at the fretboard since a young age, so natural talent probably has a little role. Surely it's a special breed of people who can do something that is contrapuntual, because I think we all agree that singing a song and strumming a guitar along, it's kind of easy. Whereas if you play the bass, it's a bit like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. Or like some others put it, it's like reciting a poem while writing out an essay. You're doing something that involves two sides of your brain. Kim Deal of the Pixies also said that it's very hard. Quote, it was so much different from playing rhythm guitar and singing, I really had to practice. Since what I sing with the Pixies is usually not the lead melody line, it doesn't always start at the top of the 4 count, so that makes it hard too. I'm better now because I wear one earplug, but what's really odd, especially starting gigantic." Unquote. Another problem is that the bass guitar for its own nature tends to be used to play short or punctuated notes, and its natural tendency is to match the drums, especially the kick. But when we sing, we naturally tend to use long notes, which makes it even harder to perform both duties at the same time. Playing piano requires good hand independence, yes, but at least you're dealing with the same type of keys with both of your hands. Playing bass and singing, it's a whole different league. Ain't the same fucking ballpark, it ain't the same league, it ain't even the same fucking sport. Even Paul McCartney had to work it out. Quote, the other thing for me that was hard was because some of these parts were independent melodic parts, it became much more difficult to sing. It was like patting your head and rubbing your stomach, so I had to put a little special effort into that, which made it very interesting." Unquote. And when Duff McKagan of Guns N' Roses once asked Paul, how do you play bass and sing at the same time, Paul just answered, practice. Other people have a much harder time. Jeff Walker of Carcass once said, Quote, for me it's a trade-off because I've got to do the vocals as well and something's got to give and something's got to suffer, and unfortunately it's both things in my case." Unquote. When talking bass guitar and lead vocals, I think we can all agree on the fact that nobody does it like Getty. Yeah. 
Rush are very hard to sing, very hard to play, and doing both at the same time with that intensity is something that most bass players regard as a supernatural ability. When asked about how he learned that, Gator replied, quote, I started emulating people like Jack Bruce, who I greatly admired when I was younger. It was just a matter of figuring out how to do it. There were a number of times where I thought it was impossible and I could never pull it off, but for me it was always a matter of learning the bass parts first and learning them so well that I didn't have to think about them while I was singing. And then, you know, concentrating on the vocal part of things. If ever there was a conflict between what I was playing and what I was singing, I would slightly rearrange what I was playing to make it somehow easier for me to actually get the syncopation of the two together. It's not a matter of making it simpler, it's just making it a little different or have more connection with the rhythm of what I'm singing. And I found that if you really rehearse your bass parts a lot, it's easier than you think. It's kind of like any physical activity, you know? The more you do it, the more the muscle memory takes over for you and suddenly just clicks in a place. I found on almost every rehearsal that I ever done, I reach a point of total frustration where I think I won't be able to do it. And yet, if you keep just banging away at it, eventually you will sort it out. So as you see, though playing bass and singing is generally regarded as something nearly impossible to do, there's nothing that a good amount of practice can fix. When I get asked about it, I always say that for me it's like having a conversation with somebody and at the same time texting someone else under the table about a completely different subject without looking at the phone. Well, that's it. I hope this video helped you in some way, if it did, please subscribe, hit the like button and support this channel, sending a donation, a super thanks or buying a t-shirt. All links in the description. Thank you so much for watching.